And hi everybody, we are here at the Children's Charity of the Bluegrass in Lexington, Kentucky, playing golf here with Mitch Lawrence, actor, ESPN commentator, and also a golf historian. He only hits persimmon clubs. Why do I? <laughs> I love them. I love them deeply. I have a relationship with them. Unlike, you may love your clubs, but they were made on some conveyor belt somewhere else. Every club I have has a story, a history behind it. Uh, they're 100 years old. They were made by great club makers of the past. I love the search for them. Sometimes my driver took me three months to find. So when I have it in my hands, I literally have a relationship with it. Now, how do they hit though? They, they're not the same as the clubs you hit. Um, shorter distances, more torque in the hickory shaft. Uh, and but it's much more about the feel of the club and they, they're not nearly as forgiving obviously as the clubs everybody else hits but when you hit a shot purely with a hickory shafted club the feel of it is unlike anything you can imagine so that's really what drew me to it and what keeps me playing and I, I hit modern clubs now like here at this great event because I hit my driver when I really hit it about 210 yards that's about all you get out of it. so with a team that you're trying to help they don't want to see a 210 yard drive they would rather see something a little longer but it's the second time I've played modern clubs in the last five years so I, I, this is this is who I am now, and this is what I love. I love about my my hickory game. And you get a lot of conversation from from the people you're playing with. A lot of people are yeah. curious about that. Yeah. And the biggest uh, misconception about hickory shafted clubs is that people, everybody I show them to, they go, "I wouldn't hit that. I'll break it." And I say to them, "Look, Bobby Jones didn't break it. Ted Ray, who was one of the great players." in the early 1900s. Ted, US Open winner from England, big, strong guy. Ted Ray didn't snap them. You know, if the shaft was bad and, and it was dry, you can, sh you can snap them. But, uh, you know, I've only broken one club in five years. And it was because I didn't oil it enough and it got dry. But uh, yeah, a lot of people love talking about him, looking at him. Most people are afraid to hit him, which is mind boggling. Now, did you hit those when you were over in Scotland? Yes, that's all I played. What was the reaction over there? Yeah, well, they're a little more used to it in Scotland. They, uh, you know, they're used to the culture of the game and the history of the game. We were playing on courses built by old Tom Morris and James Braid and Archie Simpson and people that they're familiar with. And so when you walk out with hickories, they think you're, you know, a little strange. But once they see your passion for it and they see you play with them and they see you hit them, and it's not that big a deal. You just go out and play. So I love the reaction over there. You're over here at the Children's Charity of the Bluegrass. You're a big supporter. Your brother's a big supporter. How can you come out here and tell me about what you think of this tournament? Uh, well, we've been lucky enough to be coming for a long time. Uh, a lot of the Doug Flynn we've known for a long time. That's how we first started going. And uh, to see, I think, we play in a lot of events, but the community involvement here in the Bluegrass, Lexington in particular, the corporate community of the people, the volunteers, everybody that's doing the work is unlike anything I've really ever seen. And to know that it benefits the kids of Central Kentucky, um, obviously the cause is a great cause. And the, the money that's been raised over $12 million in 35 years, 600 and something thousand dollars this week, uh, is staggering and stunning, but it's really a reflection of the people. So thrilled to be a part of it, thrilled to help, and uh, you can't find a better cause. So, sure. so you and I live near each other, yet we come to Kentucky to play together. What's wrong with that picture? Uh, well, obviously we're both incredibly busy, and you, you know, you're know, you a man on the go and an international man of media. And uh, it is strange, it is strange. But one thing I love about these tournaments is that we get to see each other and then go, what are we doing? We live an hour down the road, let's do that. So we will. So we will. I promise. I promise. I promise, Scouts are.